Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and today on this channel we're gonna do something new. Usually we just code out at this channel but again an important part of coding is designing as well. So don't underestimate that, it's, it's really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna design an awesome dope login screen. Now it is not a usual login screen, we're gonna do something different with that. Usually you have seen that there is a login options there, then you have a register button at the top, tap on register, it takes you to the new screen but let's do something different here and uh, i'll be using the sketch software here love you sketch guys this video is not sponsored by sketch or anybody else uh yes i genuinely love these guys they have a lot of good options that i awesome that are, that are just awesome so we're gonna get started with that the sad thing is sketch is only available for mac but it's awesome so if you're on a mac get that straightforward Okay, so press A on this and now we can choose our artboard, also known as canvas, but they call it artboard here. So you can choose your iPhone 8, SE, X, whatever that is. Just click on that, it will be available. I don't like the iPhone X as a design perspective, not much. The top notch is really painful, so I'm not gonna be designing on it. I'll be instead choosing 8 plus and this is what we are gonna be designing. Okay. So how do we want to take down this? So I have already selected a photo. This is gonna be a login screen for messaging app. So I have selected a photo from Pexels and this is a free copyright free photo that you can use. Okay, looks good. Now you can use customized design or whatever the things that you like to have here. I'm gonna design download it into original size and I'm gonna put it on my desktop. The only disadvantage of this uh, pixel is it's too much generic. A lot of people use these kinds of images. So if you want something to be extraordinary, uh, just get uh, just get paid, uh, pay for something good and awesome. So right now let's just use this design. Okay, so uh, I'll just drag and drop this design and it is gonna be humongous. So press command one so that it just fits the screen size. And I'm gonna drag and drop it a little bit like that. So just fixing it. I'm not gonna be doing a like an extreme satisfying thing. I'm gonna just eyeball the stuff. And this is gonna look just great like that. Or probably I'll press command one again so that it fits onto my screen. I'm gonna move this to a little bit like that. Okay. So this looks good. Okay. I'm happy with this so far. Okay, but this is not yet ready. I'm gonna press R uh, to get a rectangle. So get a rectangle onto the screen. Uh, make sure it's totally up here. Okay, so this looks good. Now we can press Command and select all of these guys. Right click onto it and hit Mask. So that your screen actually is of exact same size. And when you export this entire screen, it doesn't export like everything. It just exports this particular size. Looks pretty good so far. And I have also kept a little bit of space up the top because I want to put a gradient here, uh, just like the gradient is there at the bottom. I want exactly like that, or maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna just move this a little bit like that. Okay, looks pretty good to me now. And there we go. Okay, that's it. Adjusting a little bit. Okay, press Command-1 to make sure it's center here. Uh, there we go, looks pretty good. Okay, next up, uh, we want to add some gradient. It, it's a little bit sharper image and sharper's image on the login screen doesn't look really, really dope uh, because the feature of the button like sign up and sign in is not being visible by the user that much. Okay, so first thing first, let's press R to get a rectangle and we're gonna do that. Okay, so rectangle without borders, of course, and uh, a fill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like this. Okay, and we're gonna start uh, with at the top being a little bit darker, uh, just just like that. Okay, you'll get to know what I'm doing in a minute, and we're gonna also get it a little bit darker at the bottom. Okay, that looks nice, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to reduce the opacity here. Okay, a little bit like that. Nope, a little bit more, maybe 70% or maybe 75, 76 percentage. Okay, so this gives a nice shiny feeling that yes, there is an image there, but whatever the text or whatever the buttons are gonna be there on the top of this image, it will look really, really dope and uh, really shiny. And what I can do else here is I can just add one more point here 
and now this point can be a little bit like a less darker and this point can be a super dark okay just like that so that the top notch of the iPhone doesn't really bother much okay looks good now okay a okay looks good to me okay now let's come up uh, with the things that we want to encapsulate here so let's just press T to get a text and that is what we want to root. So this is, let's just assume this is a messaging app. So let's just call it as uh, my, not like that, my new is the name. Let's just say, assume that. So this is going to be my new and I'm going to reduce the font a little bit. Okay, now it's totally dependent on you what font you really want to use. I'm going to go with the Avenir next and it, sh it can be uh, like regular. Okay, looks good. Okay, and uh, my new is gonna go somewhere like this. Okay, a little bit like that. And let's just press T again to get a text and this is gonna be message. Okay, my new message. Looks good. Anyways, so this is gonna go just like that. A difference of 10 points is good. And we are gonna go with bold. Yep, bold looks good little bit like that not exactly if you want to get the details of that you can press option key and can just get with that so they are actually this is actually looking good i like it okay looks good we don't have any logo for the messaging app if we would have a logo it would have really looked good at the this point here uh, because of our, this design is actually uh, oriented towards left and right, not in the top and bottom. Usually the designs are top and bottom. This is centered like on the right hand side, there is an image which describes that what this app does. And on the left hand side, it, it describes that what we really want the user to sh uh, see up here. Now, we're going to keep initially everything as to be white and then we are going to talk about the colors a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to press R for a rectangle and let's just get a rectangle here. Okay so looks pretty good okay there we go rectangle looks good okay and there we go so we're gonna move these corners uh not like that i want this corner to be there okay and yep i want this to be let's just say 25 and then I want this guy to be, let's just say, 25. Okay, I should have typed there. This looks pretty good to me. Okay, looks good. Hmm, just eyeballing the stuff. Okay, let's just remove the border and make it absolute dope white. Okay, I think this is good. And we're going to press our option key to duplicate this guy. And we have one more. Okay, this looks good. Uh, probably a little bit like at the center-ish thing, a little bit gap in between them. Just eyeballing the stuff, there is no such rules that I'm following here. Okay, looks, looks pretty good. Now I want to have one more text here, usually it's at the bottom and it just says take tour. Uh, like a tour of the application, how does it work, but it's usually not that big and bold, it's actually smaller. Uh, Avenir next is good, fine, but it's actually just medium. Uh, yeah, so that it just looks stands out there and make sure it's at the center position not too much at the bottom But yes, it looks good. Okay So this is what we have so far. Okay, let's just press T to get a text and obviously there are gonna be two buttons the sign in and sign up Okay, so we're gonna go with the Sign in I know you cannot see it. There we go. Uh, we're gonna change color to them. So color and How about red? Nope, we are going to talk about the color in a second. Right now, let's just go with the grayish thing. All oh, the gray looks really dope here. I like it. I like it to be gray, but we're going to move into the colorish thing here in a second. Press the option key and we're going to copy this here. And this is going to be sign up. Okay. And you can just put anything anywhere. Sign up at the top or sign in bottom. Depends how you see the things. Okay, so we're going to keep it a little bit like bottom-ish thing. And we're gonna just grab one of these indented lines so that I can actually make them uh, just where I want them to be exact same. Or I can just zoom it a little bit. Okay, looks good. And I can just make it a little bit like that. Okay. And I'm gonna right click and remove 
Uh, show guidelines. Remove that. Okay. So this looks pretty good to me. Okay. This looks a really dope design. Minimalistic, simple. But what we can do extraordinary here is we can actually reverse the things. Okay. So just click on this sign in and uh, we're going to go with something which is uh, similar to let's just go with this kind of bluish thing, uh, which is quite or maybe a grayish thing like that. So how about a grayish thing? Okay, this looks good. Kind of a really good gray. So 8F, 8C, 8C. So this is what we are going to go. Copy that. And we are going to select this guy and we're going to fill it with the color. There we go. Hit enter and there we go. So now we have to reverse this guy into white. Okay, how does that look? Yep, uh, but it doesn't stand out that much. So changing my mind again. You see, this is the part of designing and coding and everything. You change up your mind, you do things differently. So let's just go with that. I want to depict it a little bit sharper than that. Okay, so we're gonna go with this. Yeah, that's a, that's a soothing color. Make sure it's flat, it's not yet shiny, uh, because the theme that we are following here is something like this. So we're gonna go with 21A triple C. So copy that. And I want to just include this into this guy. And uh, yep, this is what I like. I like it. So new messaging app is my new message and we have a really cool and dope design which says my new message. You can put up a logo here as well, that looks good, okay. And what else we can do, uh, let's just have a text and we're gonna do something awesome here as well, maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe the company has a tagline, uh, something like taking messages to next level and an exclamation just like that. So make sure it's also just here. Uh, you can just put it here in case the company has some tagline or something like that and make sure it's also in the white because we are following a white text pattern so that it looks good. Okay, looks pretty good and pretty dope. Although what I can do here is uh, I can align it. Okay, how can I align it? Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so there we go. Uh, within a few minutes, we have got everything. Uh, that looks good, that looks dope. And I think if a messaging app has this much of the minimalistic feel here, it's gonna look dope. So next up, uh, we're gonna just uh, select this. Now, a few good habits is press G uh, so that it becomes a group and press Command G to make it a group and then Command R and name it as BG for background because this is a separate background for us. Now text, usually people don't like uh, text to be exported as that uh, because simply saying that it's just a text, any developer can do the text according to him. But make sure you also give him the name of the fonts that you're using. In this case, it's mostly Avenir Next. And we need buttons as well. So we're gonna press select this rectangle and press my command key and select this sign in. Oops, the shift key and this both the guys. So make sure these are selected. Press command G so that it becomes a group and command R. And let's just call it as sign in BTN or BTN. Okay, so this is a sign in button. We have to do the same thing. Uh, select the rectangle, press the shift key, sign up and command G to group them and command R to rename and this is gonna be sign up BTN. Okay, looks good. And for rest of the stuff, we don't need to give anything to, I don't think so we need to give. And rest, you can export just this guy directly. And the good part about uh, the sketch is you can just export it into 1X or you can just add it, tap it and it looks 2X. So uh, let's just export this and we're gonna export that onto desktop, okay. And let me show you how does it look. Okay, so come on, you can go up here. There we go. Looks pretty good, pretty dope actually. I like this messaging app that we have quickly came up. So yes, designing is also an important and interesting part of the coding as well. If you have such good designs, uh, they're obviously gonna look awesome. So I try to be minimalistic. It's easier for coders as well. It's easier for designer as well. So uh, let me know in the comment section, uh, did you like this dope design? And for sure in the future, uh, based on request, we can do more such videos where I can teach you how the things are done, how they look awesome, and how you can make all these amazing stuff. That's it for this video, and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.